Welcome back. Just Mike here. Anyway, let's finish up this clock. Now I'm going to work on the box and the gluing, degluing and regluing and getting the box back together again. And let's see if we can get this thing hung back on the wall and ticking beautifully. So my pen was a little bit dry, so I had to pull some paint, because it's been a while since I've used that pen. And actually, I don't think it turned out that bad. And when it's hanging on the wall, you'd never notice. Because of this stuff that was sprayed in the clock, I'm not positive that the paper is going to stick with that glue, but so far it seems to be doing good. I got my clamps on here to get it to form so it'll stay shut. I was working on this piece here. I didn't break this apart. They didn't quite get it together very well. I did take this leaf off because it was overlapped on top and then they just poured glue on it which wasn't the thing I took this very fine end screwdriver and popped the glue off because it was poured on kind of like what this looks like I'm not too worried about what's on the back here maybe it'll help it but anyways you can see I've used a rubber band to hold everything together and actually we're ready to take this apart and see just how good it does which it's gonna be easier just to cut the rubber band off So we can see we got still a few lines in there. Most of it couldn't be helped because of that extra glue that was on there. Now I'm going to try to touch this up with some scratch cover. And if it looks alright to me, then I'm going to go ahead and wax it also with the Howard's Wax. In this video I didn't show how I got the chains on that should be simple enough or if you check out my other videos I did show how to put them on before you get in the clock or if it's in the clock already how to get your chains on this here is using the magnetic screwdriver to catch your chain so you're not fighting getting it in the hole I never thought about this but I will admit I learned this from Mark which on the end of the video I show off Mark's channel that you can just uh, click on his picture there and go right to his channel subscribe because it's free and Mark's got a lot of good information so we forgot to put the cuckoo bird post on I'm going to try to catch the spring that's usually impossible every once in a while it works out
squeeze this don't get carried away you need this free Make sure it has a little bit of room to move. Let me scrub up this bird with some Dawn dishwash soap. Looks a lot better. Back on the roost because it's a tight fit inside the box and then we can adjust it afterwards if we need to. Well I don't have a place to hang it but it ticks as long as I'm not shaking it too much. The hand, the brass piece in there wasn't normal, we'll say. It was kind of ballooned out. I did have to file it down a little bit. Had to carve my hand a little bit to fit in there. Got it snug and I put a little bit of super glue on there. The bigger bellows, I imagine what they tried doing was uh, get in, be louder, but the bigger the bellow does not make it louder. It's more air trying to be pushed, and this is too small of a clock for the bellows that they put in here. So you can see it's lifting up too high on that one. Let's try it again. So the bellows are a little, bellows are a little bit too big. So it makes it even worse when it comes to the sound. It's trying, but actually those bellows, like I say, are too big, possibly also for the size of weight. And really, I should knock the tops off and put smaller bellows on top. So considering someone did try to work on the clock, didn't understand for sure how to work on it, they tried different things and they didn't work out and they've passed on now and so I got the clock we'll say pretty much going even though I do plan on changing the bellow to a smaller bellow 
I got the top. It, you can definitely tell it's been broke before. But realistically, once you put it up on the wall, some of these things don't stand out that much because it is higher than eye level. And painting these, they're a little crookedish, but it was doable. I'm guessing the reason why they were so wore out is because when they turned the hands to just the time, they went in too far and was dragging their finger on the numbers. And because they were originally painted on here, or stamped, however you want to say it, uh, that's probably why they wore out. So I do hope Nancy's happy to see the clock going again. Anyway, I was very surprised, let's say this clock is able to run and whatnot, uh, especially because what what may have happened, maybe they sprayed Pam in there. I don't know. It's really a kind of a greasy, oily spray over everything, which wasn't helping it one bit. Anyway, like I say, we got the clock shined up. Happy with that. So I hope Nancy is happy. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to subscribe because it's free. And... Look at the down below on look below the video here. It talks about or explains your about what the clock is and whatnot. You hit more and there'll be more in there more than likely. And I have friends that I'm asking you to subscribe to. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, it doesn't hurt anything, but it does help the people that are working on clocks, and that's what I'm going to showcase in this video. And where to find it, of course, besides me. So, because of the bellows and whatnot, it's the clock's having a harder time to lift, and you don't get a nice cuckoo sound so down the road I'm going to change the bellows to a smaller bellow like this clock should have and also the wire that's supposed to lift the bird that's not right in here either but we'll deal with that a little bit later down the road when I change the bellow tops And it's slowly going in. So like I say, down the road, we're going to have to finish fixing this clock to be a cheery clock. So we got the movement going now and one thing to remember I'm working with what came with this clock. I already know those bellow tops don't go with this clock and you can tell just by the way this clock acts as I get it going. And I did explain a little bit about that several times already in this video and more than likely part two of this video anyway don't forget to subscribe because it's free and until next time god bless <laughs>